morning. Welcome back to Running Rivers Ministry Channel. I'm Tiffany Mercure. My husband is Chris. He's at work right now, and I'm here with you. Praise God. We are on a journey through a book called 100 Days in the Secret Place. I just felt the Lord leading me to do that. It stirred my faith when I went through it about, well, a couple months ago, and I just really felt him um, tugging on me to get on here and stir your faith as well. That's my prayer over you anyway. You don't have to purchase the book. I just hope that you'll glean from the things that I highlighted throughout the book and you'll take it with you to secret place and you'll allow Holy Spirit to speak to you through it. But first and foremost, let him speak to you through the word, his holy word that he's given to us. What a treasure, what a blessing, what a blessing to have the word of God right in front of me. Thank you, Jesus. So here's what today's reading is. <clears throat> it's called The Path of Christ. Let God use trials to help you grow. <laughs> Do not try to measure your progress, your strength, or what God is doing. His work is not less efficient because he is, what he is doing is invisible. His transformation is done on the cross in darkness, poverty, and death. He's, he goes on to say, Allow him to strip your self-love of every covering so that you might receive the white robe washed in the blood of the Lamb. You need only his purity. Listen to what I have to say. It is not easy to hear, but it will feed your spirit. Do not listen to the voice that suggests you live for yourself. The voice of self-love is even more powerful than the voice of the serpent. Christ leaves no emptiness within you. You will be led to do that which you will find enjoyable, and you will like them better than doing all the things which led you astray. It's true. It's very true. I testify to that. Everything's more fun with Jesus at the center because he guides our steps, our path towards the things that are truly enjoyable and not the things that leave us empty and wanting because he's at the center and he guides us. He guides us in ways of abundance, abundance of peace and joy. Praise God. Here's Matthew 16, 24 from the reading. It even mentioned it in the reading, but I, I thought of it immediately. And actually, I also thought of the photo I snapped of Chris. Here it is, I'm gonna show you. Of him carrying the cross out of church during the Christmas season. It's just precious to me because it's so true. You know, he's at the crux of the cross. <laughs> And you couldn't have planned it any better, you know. I like to tell people, I did a little write-up on Facebook, but I like to tell people, yes, you know, we've been to a number of churches, but we never left the cross. We never left the cross. I pray you stay there as well. Stay at the crux of the cross, where God came down, stretched out his arms, and he welcomes anyone who would come. Here's Matthew 16:24. Then Jesus told his disciples, if anyone would come after me, let him deny himself, take up his cross, and follow me. For whoever would save his life will lose it, but whoever will lose his life for my sake will find it. Jesus, thank you. Just thank you. Thank you, Jesus, for dying on the cross for us and rising again and providing a new eternal way to be with you. We thank you that we can be with you now through your presence, Holy Spirit. Thank you for being here, our comforter, our guide, our teacher, our strength, our helper, our God. Oh, you're so kind. You are so kind. I pray that anyone needing to repent of not denying themselves first, I repent. Help me deny, to deny myself first and foremost as my eyes pop open. Let me thank you for the breath of my lungs and that my eyes pop open to see another day. To see another day, to walk with you, to take up my cross and to follow you. To deny myself again. Deny myself and follow you. My prayer over each and every one of your children watching, God, Father, God is that you allow them to release anything they're holding on to that keeps them from taking up the cross and following you by denying themselves first. In Jesus' name I pray.
Thanks for joining me. Bless your day. I'll see you again tomorrow.